Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Wrestling Discussion Series and the big news as we all know already that the next inductee into the WWE Hall of Fame 2021 is going to be none other than the whole damn show himself, Mr. Pay-Per-View, the one and only RVD aka Rob Van Dam. Now this is, in my opinion, well deserved and long overdue. Rob Van Dam, in my opinion, is the greatest and most extreme high flyer in wrestling history. And he's been there, he's seen it all, he's done it all, and he's competed with everyone you can imagine. Rob Van Dam got his start in ECW back in 1996, and he was one of the most biggest and most recognized names of that company, which was ran by Paul Heyman. And Rob Van Dam competed and faced everybody in that company from the Dudley Boys to the Sandman to Sabu who had some of the greatest matches with Rob Van Dam Jerry Lynn who I think is RVD's greatest opponent of all time you name it Tommy Dreamer Raven the list goes on Rob Van Dam was one of the biggest if not the biggest star of ECW he was the ECW TV champion which he held for 23 months and the only reason he lost that title was because he injured his leg during a match so that was the only reason why Rob Van Dam lost that title but he was undefeated for 23 months as the ECW television champion and for some of you who may not remember this, Rob Van Dam made a brief appearance on WWF Raw back in 1997 and he wrestled there for a couple of weeks and he was gone. But Rob Van Dam would make his full-time WWF debut in July 2001 as part of the invasion angle when WCW and ECW formed the alliance to try and put Vince McMahon out of business. Now... The Invasion Angle, I wouldn't say I disliked it, but I didn't love it. You know, it was okay for what it was, but the lack of star power hurt the angle a lot. But one of the biggest shining jewels of that angle was Rob Van Dam. And RVD would make his pay-per-view debut at Invasion in that same month against Jeff Hardy in probably the best match of the entire show for the Hardcore title. And... I had never seen a high flyer like Rob Van Dam do some of the things that he did. He was using the steel chair in ways that I've never seen a steel chair used before because I never really watched ECW that much, but I knew who RVD was and him and Jeff Hardy just absolutely tore the house down and they went on to have an even better match at SummerSlam in a ladder match for the hardcore title and for me that was probably my favorite match of that entire show i enjoyed SummerSlam 2001 but that match in particular was just unbelievable the things that rvd did in that match and no disrespect to jeff hardy he's an amazing high fly but the things that RVD were doing was just making my jaw drop. It was just insane. You know, he was just flipping around the place. The things he was doing with the ladder and steel chairs was just incredible. And RVD would hold the hardcore title from August till December in 2001. He had a great hardcore match with Jericho at Unforgiven. He had an unbelievable triple threat match with Stone Cold and Kurt Angle. He also had great matches with The Rock on SmackDown. Great matches with Angle as well. You know, he also faced The Undertaker in a hardcore match at Vengeance, which surprisingly turned out to be really good. It was actually match of the night, as far as I was concerned. And RVD was just an amazing high fly. He would face lots of big names, Triple H... Ric Flair, Randy Orton, Batista, you know, Eddie Guerrero, they had a great ladder match in 2002 for the Intercontinental title. RVD would hold all the gold, he would win the tag team titles with Kane, he would win the hardcore title multiple times, he won the WWE title against John Cena in ECW's One Night Stand after he cashed in Money in the Bank contract which he won at WrestleMania 22. You name it, RVD has done it all and, you know, he's 
one of my favourite wrestlers, you know, and I've had the great privilege of meeting Rob Van Dam back in 2016 at Comic Con, and he's a really cool dude, you know, that's not just an act you see on TV, he's generally a really cool dude, and it was great to meet him, he was a really nice guy, and, you know, it's great to see Rob Van Dam is finally getting his due, and he's going into the WWE Hall of Fame 2021. So the question is, who do you think should be the one to induct RVD into the Hall of Fame? Should it be Paul Heyman? Should it be Jerry Lynn? Should it be any of his old friends from ECW? You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. And once again, many congratulations to Rob Van Dam, who now takes his rightful place with the rest of the wrestling legends and he has always been known as Mr. Pay-Per-View, Mr. Monday Night and the whole damn show. He now and forever will simply be known as Mr. Hall of Fame. Congratulations Rob Van Dam and once again definitely well deserved.